And this show is Boys in the Band. Mm -hmm. I'm here now helping with some sewing. This is fabric for the walls, actually. We're doing a lot of fabric on the walls because it's appropriate for the period. Um, Boys in the Band was written in 68. It was kind of a landmark play in American theater history and American gay history because it was really one of the very first stage works that treated gay people as people. You know, they're not closeted or are they gay or are they not? They're gay. They're real people. They have real lives, real problems. And one of the big questions when I was starting to design it for me personally was how do we do this play today and have it feel true to the historical period but also relevant and interesting and funny and exciting for today's audience. And then the other big element in this design process was we're not in a theater, we're in this law. So the audience is all around, the action will be in front of them, behind them, to the side of them. Sometimes they won't be able to see things because there might be a column in front of it. And that was something we decided to really try to embrace, to not create a proscenium feeling but to, to put them in the apartment. Now the black and white tile was here, so when we came to see the space, we were like, better find a way to embrace it. We looked at a lot of pop art and stuff for, for the research and the kind of bold, graphic, high contrast quality of pop art. You know, the black and white floor is not a bad foundation. So, you know, you open the door and it's like, oh my god, <laughs> you know, where am I and what am I walking into? One of the exciting things about this play when it was first written was that it gave you access to these people's lives, something that had never really been shown before on stage. And so I think I was trying to do that here too, to give our audience access to them. They're with them in this evening and in this experience in a way that you can't be in a proscenium setting.